Hey developers, if you want to automate listings, search products or manage orders on eBay, the API uh, is the perfect tool. And let me give you some information on how to get started with the eBay API step by step. The first step is to create an eBay developer account. And to do that, just go to developer.ebay.com or search for developer eBay here and click on the first website right here. The second step is to sign up for a free account and log into the developer portal. And to do that, just go to uh, join now and click on register now and fill in the informations right here, fill in your informations and the prompts and click on join. Now, once you join, the second step is to generate application keys. Now, once logged in, create a new application key set. And then you will receive your AP, uh, app ID, your search ID, and dev ID for use in API calls. The third step is to choose your API. eBay offers multiple APIs like Browse API for uh, product search, Trading API for managing listings and orders, and Inventory API for managing stock levels. As for the fourth step, Get the OAT token. Most requ uh, requests requires an OAT access token, so generate one through the developer's dashboard or your application using OAT 2.0. And as for the fifth step, make your first APA call. You can use Postman or your favorite code editor to send a GET request to the APA's and endpoints. And make sure you include your authorization bearer account uh, bearer token in the header. And now you're ready to automate and scale with eBay's API. Use sandbox mode for safe testing before going live, and always check eBay's API rate limits to avoid disruption. And also explore the official eBay API documentation for code samples in multiple languages. You can find them just in the eBay website right here for more information. As you can see here you'll find guides uh, uh, for listing uh, metadata, guides for accounts uh, management, etc. and APIs. And that's it for today's tutorial. If you like this video and found this helpful, please like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment below the video if you have further more questions about this topic. Thanks for watching and see you again in the next tutorial.